yesterday around 4.30 p.m. in the afternoon, we got a call from my forest service uh, personnel indicating that he had seen two couples at the Galba Down campsite. The fugitive, based on that tip, and commander here, Sergeant Webb Hogel, put a team together consisting of eight sheriff deputies, and he called out for assistance from the outside agency. Put a plan together. They went in last night right before it got dark, around 7 o'clock p.m. They made the entry to the campsite, drove up on them, surprised them right there before they could get to his weapon, McClowski was there at the campsite. <clears throat> he, he tried to uh, take off from the guys, but he was taken down right away. The lady also tried to make a move for her gun. She did make a move for her handgun, but eventually she had to put it down because of the aggressive movement of my guys and the assistant agency. We were able to take the two fugitives into custody last night about 7 o'clock p.m. Since then, the FBI's came in last night about 2, 3 o'clock this morning. They did interview both suspects here at the county jail. Those statements that were made to the FBI could be released by the FBI. So that is what we have so far this, this morning. This. He is a true hero. He made that uh, contact. He was living about it. He was out there doing his job. When he seen these two fugitives, that's when he tipped the uh, sheriff's office that day. The, the, the two fugitives is out there at Galbadon Park. So I congratulate the Forest Service officer for being vigilant out there on behalf of our community.